Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on Venn diagram. It says that an analytics company has 450 employees and it set all its employees for training in one or more tools out of SAS, Python and SQL. So all employees are sent for training that is in one or more. So that means no training uh, like you do not have anyone with none of the trainings. Okay. Now uh, we are given that the male and female employees are in this ratio. 10% of the females take training only in Python. So from this we could make out that it's a double Venn diagram. Okay, so we will have to make two Venn diagrams, one for males and the other for females. Okay, so let us make a Venn diagram like this. This is for males and the other one is for females. Now 450 employees, uh, this is 5 ratio 4 male ratio female. So there are 250 males and there are 200 females and the three tools are SAS, Python and SQL. Similarly, let's put like SAS, Python and SQL. Now it is about just reading the statements and filling the data into this. It says 10% of the females take training only in Python, right? So only Python here is 20. 16% of the males take training only in SAS. So 16% of 250 is 40, only in SAS. So this is 40. It is equal to the number of females taking training only in SQL. So only SQL will be 40. And also to the number of females taking training in SAS and SQL but not Python. SAS and SQL but not Python. So this is also 40. Okay. 10% of the males take training in SAS and Python but not SQL. Okay. 10% that means 25 males SAS and Python but not SQL. So this number is 25. Okay. 6% of the total employees. That means 27 take training in all three of which two third are female. So 27 by two third is 18. Okay, so 18 females and nine males take training in all three tools. Okay, then 10% of the total employees take training in SAS and Python but not SQL. Okay, SAS and Python, SAS and Python but not SQL. So that means this part. So this is 10% of the total employees, right? Now that is 450. So this should be 45. Now 25 is already filled. So this number for females will be 20, okay? Uh, this 10%, this is five times the number of males training, taking training in Python and SQL, but not SAS. So that means this is 45, which is five times of males taking training in Python and SQL, but not SAS. Python, SQL, but not SAS. Okay, so this is 9. Okay. The number of females taking training only in SAS is 25% of the number of males training, uh, taking training only in SAS. Okay. Females only in SAS. So females only SAS, we do not know, is one fourth of the number of males taking only in SAS. So only SAS here is 40. So this number will be 10. Okay, 20% of the total that is 90 people take training only in Python. So this is 20, this should be 70. Okay, the number of males taking training in SAS and SQL but not Python is 20% of the total number of males. So that is 50. SAS and SQL but not Python. SAS and SQL but not Python. So this is 50. Okay, so everything is given in the statement. It's just about reading the statements one after the other and filling in the values. Now we are left with two of the values. Okay, how do we find that? Uh, one value is missing here, one value is missing here. So subtract from uh, 250 and 200. Okay, so uh, this is 90. 90 plus 95, 185. 185 plus 18 is 203. So this will come as 47. Okay, and when we talk about this portion, Okay, uh, if we see this, this is 30, 50, 50 plus 80, 50 plus 80 is 130, 
and 130 plus 18 is 148. So this will come as 52. Okay. First question is, what percentage of females take training in both SQL and Python? Now, a common mistake people make is, they take this number. They might say that 26%, but that is incorrect. So when it says both SQL and Python, so this is SQL and this is Python. Right. So it does not mention anything about SAS. Right. If it said that not SAS, both SQL and Python, but not SAS, in that case, you would have take, picked 52. But here it is 70, which is 35%. Okay. So very common basic error that many people make in Venn diagrams. What percent of the employees take training only in SQL? So only SQL, if we see this is 40, this is 47. Right. So we have 87 out of 450. Okay, now 450 or 20% is 90. It is less than 20%. So we have only one option that is 19.33%. How many employees take training in at least two slots, at least two tools? Okay, so what we need to do is we need to find uh, only one and subtract. So either we can add all these or we can find only one and subtract. So this is 40, 70, 110, 157. And this is 70. And that is 227. They take only one of these. So it is saying at least two tools. So like when we talk about at least two tools, that means we need to subtract. We need to subtract 227 from 450. 450 minus 227, we get 223 as the answer. Okay. Next question, the number of females taking training in SAS is what percentage of the number of males taking training in SAS? So female in SAS is the sum of these values, which turns out to be 30, 70, 88. And we have to find what percentage of number of males training, taking training in SAS. So this we need to add. So it is 90, 90 plus 34 is 124. So 88 by 124. Okay. Uh, now if we find 70% of this, so we know that 125 plus 70, you must be knowing is 875. Right. So it is roughly equal to 70%. 70% is just thoda sa above. Right. So if we see the option 68.42 will not be. The answer 75 is way too high because 75% of this will be 93. Okay, 3 fourth. So the answer is 70.97%. So that is the solution to this set and the answers to the questions. It was a very straightforward one. It's just that you had to read the statements and keep filling into the statements.